So we need some people to carry the banner at the front, basically. I'm Torin Menzies. I'm 17 years old and I live with my family in Bristol. I am in year 12 at QEH and I'm halfway through my A-levels. This film was shot at a march I helped organise against Bristol Airport expansion. I'll try and explain how important it is that we stop all airport expansion and why I feel so strongly about it. I've been a member of Bristol Youth Strike for Climate since shortly after the movement began. The first climate strike was quite a weird environment to be in. I'd never gone to a protest before. There was probably about a thousand, mainly young people there. It was very exhilarating to be around so many young, energetic people just like me, trying to make a change. But it was really just a sense of hope and that people were actually coming together in a new and exciting way. From our first marches, we are protesting about Bristol Airport's expansion plans. A busy airport will be a problem because currently there's 8 million passengers going from there every year. They want to increase that to 12 million passengers every year. That will not just worsen the air pollution and noise pollution around North Somerset, that will also add 1.36 million tonnes of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere every year. And to visualise that, you'd have to plant a forest the size of North Somerset every four months. That's an incredible amount of carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere. It's utterly ridiculous that the airport wants to be able to do this. We joined together with many local people and environmental groups to fight the expansion, and in February 2020, it looked like we'd won. So the voting was for the motion, i.e. refusal, 18 votes. Again, North Somerset Council decided by 18 votes to seven to reject the plans. Yeah! The people of North Somerset, 83% of them in the consultation, the councils in North Somerset, the people in, you know, in the region more broadly, over 70% against Bristol City Council, Bath and North East Somerset Council. And many of us were here on the same issue at a climate strike, talking about the airport expansion. 83% of people oppose airport expansion. You can't get 83% of people to be on anything politically normally. OK, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back. Um, but the airport launched an appeal, a costly and time-consuming inquiry that confirmed many strong arguments against expansion but the three government inspectors decided it should go ahead. Despite North Somerset Council, the people and the councillors in the area all opposing airport expansion, it has been allowed to go ahead. They want to increase 8 to 12 million passengers a year at a time when we rapidly need to decarbonise. They want to add another million tonnes of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. It's our future and the government don't seem to care. Why? Because it's all a sham, it's all for show, it's all greenwashing. It's all lies to make you think that the Tories are going to act when in reality they have no intention of doing so. They're all just interested in business and economic interests. We are the generation of suffering from the most. That's why we're leading the protest today. That's why we're here. Thank you all for coming. This march is part of the Worldwide Day of Action for the Environment. We asked adults to join us and the focus of the march was airport expansion. We were joined by the XR landing crew and one of the biggest samba bands I've ever seen in Bristol. Some people think the sound band is too loud, too threatening. It is loud, but I see it as the beating heart of the protest movement. Its colour and energy are far from threatening for me. I think it's joyful. It certainly makes many people smile and even dance. One thing that really angers me is the airport saying it's going to be environmentally friendly. The airport's claim they'll be carbon neutral by 2025 is utterly untrue because it doesn't include two key things. One, 
the cars travelling to the airport and to emissions from the planes themselves. It's a you know, blatant case of greenwashing. Any sane person would include the planes, so it's utterly ridiculous. It's basically lying by trying to claim they'll be carbon neutral. Bristol Airport, like a few others, is actually owned by the Ontario Teachers Pension Plan. You are meant to care about young people, you represent teachers. But it's our future, the future of you know, not just people here, but all across the world, including the students of the teachers that you represent. It's their future and it's our future that is being destroyed because we're the generation that's going to have to live with this. I don't feel especially hopeful or optimistic, sadly. I've been campaigning on this for nearly three years now and things are only just slowly getting worse. I do try and stay hopeful, especially when you have a high turnout at a protest, when you've got so many young people in Bristol on the streets. Like, that is um, moments of hope. And the fight against airport expansion isn't over yet. Ban the Bristol Airport Action Network, in a few days raised enough money to mount a legal challenge. A judge has already ruled that they have a strong enough case to take it to the High Court, and it will be heard in Bristol on the 8th and 9th of November.